The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. David, uh, firm work uh, in your first action as an Eagle, your first career bucket, an and one. Break down uh, what happened there. Uh, honestly, Kev, if I was to tell you my game plan, I was sitting on that bench all game, getting excited, man. Had a, I felt bouncy in the warm-ups, and I was just thinking in my head, I'm going to try dunk on somebody. That's usually <laughs> my game plan. Usually my game plan in every game I play. But, yeah, obviously I didn't didn't get the dunk, drew the foul. I had actually two attempts, drew fouls both times. So I guess uh, yeah. good things came out of that. But, yeah, if it's one thing I can try to go in and do in a game, it's dunk a basketball cap. At, at seven f- feet, uh, easier for you than – for somebody of my uh, yeah. uh, height, uh, <laughs> I need a ladder. Uh, it's three points for you, a, a rebound, uh, enthusiasm for you, uh, and for uh, guys like Jamie Pace seeing their first action. What's that mean to you to receive that uh, ovation from not only your teammates but the football team uh, I- enjoying this win? Yeah, uh, it feels great, man. It feels great to be out on a basketball court, play basketball. I had a struggle in the preseason a little bit with the injury back injury I was fighting mm-hmm. it's a cost of being seven foot <laughs> tall I guess and uh, I, I was really happy to get out on the court especially like looking on the out on the bench or bench and just seeing everyone rising on the floor cheering just happy for me and happy for all the guys and also very proud of Jamie seeing him get out in the court he's a great guy he got some good minutes tonight and everyone got some good minutes we just played good team basketball and I think we have a lot of trust with each other I think the most impressive thing uh when you got down to uh players nine through 14 there was no quarter uh you out that crew at the end of the game uh outscored Milligan as everybody else had in fact a 15-0 run uh that you were a part of how proud are you of the ability to uh extend things out uh down the stretch run and, and and maintain uh, the discipline that would be expected of uh, others. Uh, very proud, yeah. CB, we were in a media timeout. CB, Coach Benson was talking to us saying that, you know, we just got to keep the same, stay locked in, doesn't matter what group of five is out on the court. And I think, I mean, we have a very deep team, I think. That's probably Coach Benson's biggest blessing and his biggest curse is that, you know, our team is so deep, anyone can play one through 16, 17. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, no matter what group of five guys, I'm cramping in my knee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are uh, uh, literally cramped. Fit yeah, uh, yeah. Li- literally cramped. Struggling in, yeah. to fit in the table, yeah. But no, just uh, no matter what group of five guys is out there, I think we're always very locked in and trying to perform. And How do you build upon this one uh, as a team with Clayton State coming in here on Saturday? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they're a, a good peach belt opponent. Um, Tonight, I think we just chill, celebrate. We had a pretty long weekend of basketball. You know, got some wings in the locker room. Going to go eat those. And then I think, you know, starting from tomorrow, coming all the way up until Saturday, we're going to be locked in again. And, you know, we're going to do what we do and uh, prepare for Clayton. All right, Dave, thanks for the time. Kev, Congrats. Thank you, Kev. That is Carson Newman's sophomore center, David Gorianski, as the Eagles prevail over Milligan 111-62.